We're here to trade. No matter which way we go, we need provisions. Wait! Are we going somewhere different? Is that all? Charlie Mark. Where they go ain't up to you. You can ask them what they want. They won't survive. Then they don't survive. And it's really about James making his decision for his family that makes him take that trip to the north. We had to make the decision to go a different direction. That was the only choice that we had. I'm heading north. If anyone wants to ride with me, you're welcome. This image of Oregon with the ocean and the green and the mountains and everything, there's no other alternative. I'll go with you. You're so close already. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. You packed up? I ain't gonna do it. On top of the fact that he is interested in Noemi, Thomas ain't a promise to these people. I promised I'd see it to Oregon. That's what I'm gonna do. We can't just leave now and just let everybody branch out. He has integrity. We need to follow this to the very end. It's gonna be hard enough with you. We ain't got no chance without you. There was a sort of a transition of leadership. I'm gonna trust you. I think I can live with that. But you're gonna have to lead him. He's gonna continue to give security to the train, but he's not gonna be the leader anymore. James is gonna take over. You might just pull this off. It's getting on board and seeing the journey through. Let's see who survives. In episode eight, Elsa becomes a warrior. She's finally the woman that she wanted to be at the very beginning. She is now, she earns it. The girl's starting to ride like a Comanche. And she becomes the wife of a warrior, Sam. Lightning with the yellow hair. You think you can catch me? She feels safe with Sam, and I think he feels the same way. Almost off for your father or something. What? For you? Was certainly concerned, and he's worried about losing his daughter. Are you aware of what he's asking? I'm aware. And she has to tell her family, this is who I am now, and I have to let you go. But she does it with great strength. Young lady, I will not allow this. It's like, oh. <laughs> it kind of takes your breath away a little bit. I'm allowing it. She's going to do it anyway. It's heart wrenching. Don't just stand there, stop him. Shoot him! Do something! Naturally, him as a father is kind of concerned about how he's going to care for his daughter. So they have a conversation about that. Where will she live? I'll build her house if that's what she wants, but I think she would rather chase bandits with me. She would. I think that that's the biggest part of James and Elsa's relationship, that he understands her and he understands the passion that she has. And not only because it's a reflection of him, but it's a reflection of Margaret as well. She is racing up that hill for me. But the way she loves, she gets that from you. He's wary, as any father would be, but he has just enough trust and respect for her that, that he tries to stay out of her way as much as he can and still be a guiding hand when, it, when, it, when it's important. Sam gives her the best, makes it for her, and I think it, she probably treasures this more than anything in the world because she treasures him more than anyone in the world. It's beautiful, it's authentic, and it has the Comanche symbols on it and colors. I, like, I feel honored to even be wearing this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> First time I saw it, I got emotional. <laughs> I think the most humbling experience in her life is to be able to wear this clothing that is so important to this culture. Finally, she doesn't have to be what others tell her she needs to be. And this is sort of a physical representation of that but they're also committed to their journeys and their paths and what they have to do. So they plan on meeting back up together again. For me here, when the flowers bloom, it's not a happily ever after. It's kind of sad. I love you. It's also true to life. We don't always get what we want. You gotta live with that.